why the public should join us in boycotting the NADA. Hello everyone, Kevin Hunter, the homework guy here with a very important and timely message for car buyers. As you well know, we don't often publish messages like this, but this time we had to make an exception. Today, I'm inviting you to join us in boycotting the NADA, their website, and any NADA published information. We won't ever refer consumers to them again, and you should never visit their website again. We're boycotting the National Auto Dealers Association, NADA, due to their strong and unreasonable opposition to the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, CARS rule. This boycott should be considered by each of you for seven key reasons. Hear these arguments, and then, if you agree, Join us in pledging to never again visit the NADA website or any of their affiliates. Don't use them to book your vehicles and don't use them to look up vehicle information. Their links are not information published by NADA anyway. They just send you off to JD Power, KBB, and many others. Cut out the middleman and just visit other valuable sites on your own. Let's bring the NADA's web traffic to a screeching halt and choke them out. Here's why this can really work. Car dealers alone going to the NADA website is not enough web volume to keep their content relevant in today's marketplace. They need you and I, and I'm saying we should abandon them. Here are the seven key points to consider for participating in our boycott. Number one, consumer protection concerns about NADA. For most of its existence, NADA has put up a false front to the general public, only pretending to want to help car buyers by publishing so-called valuable information for consumers under the pretense of helping us better understand the car business. However, recently, NADA took the gloves off, dropping the pretenses and relentlessly attacking the FTC's CARS rule with a number of false allegations, turning a completely blind eye to the corruption found in far too many dealerships around the country. Not one time has Mike Stanton, the CEO of NADA, come out publicly and spoken against the dishonesty and mistreatment that many car dealers give their customers. The FTC CARS rule is a federal response to this kind of behavior and is aimed at enhancing consumer protection inside of car dealerships, something NADA wants no part of. With NADA adamantly opposing these regulations, every consumer should be on red alert that NADA is a partner in crime with bad dealers and is definitely not prioritizing consumer interests particularly in areas like transparent pricing, fair lending practices, and honest advertising. NADA wants you to be crushed by relentless dealers and their junk fees and add-ons. As proof, here's a recent quote by Mike Stanton, NADA CEO, the paragraph titled with, The National Auto Dealers Association, NADA, strongly disagreed with the premise and elements of this new FTC rule. NADA President and CEO Mike Stanton said in the following statement, this regulation is heavy-handed, bureaucratic overreach and redundancy at its worst that will needlessly lengthen the car sales process by forcing new layers of disclosures and complexity into the transaction. He rants on by saying the FTC made up data to support its claims, then rejected calls to slow down the process and test the effectiveness of its proposal with real consumers. We are exploring all options on how to keep this ill-conceived rule from taking effect. Keep in mind that NADA already made one attempt at stopping the FTC CARS rule through congressional action. Thankfully, it failed, right? Another reason to boycott NADA. Number two, transparency issues. Since the FTC's CARS rule is designed to improve transparency in car pricing and financing, NADA's opposition should be seen as an attempt to maintain less transparent practices. They stand in strong support of the bad operators in the car business. Consumers who value clear and upfront pricing should choose to join us in boycotting NADA and any of their associated dealerships in favor of those that provide more transparent car dealings. Number three, supporting ethical business practices. We sincerely hope you view a boycott of NADA as a way to promote ethical business practices in the automotive industry. By refusing to patronize organizations like NADA and anyone who opposes consumer-friendly regulations, Together, we can help encourage a shift towards more responsible and consumer-focused business models in car dealerships. Number four, encouraging competitive practices. The CARS rule is also intended to foster a more competitive marketplace, making room for more honest dealers to compete, thereby benefiting consumers through better prices, a more transparent sales process, and much improved customer service. NADA's resistance to such a rule should be seen as an attempt to preserve a less competitive environment 
to preserve the predatory attitude too many dealers exhibit towards consumers, prompting a boycott from anyone who wants to support a more friendly, less stressful, and dynamic car market. Number five, aligning with personal values. For some consumers, the decision to boycott NADA will stem from a desire to align their purchasing decisions with their personal values, such as fairness, transparency, and responsibility. Like us, you likely feel that supporting organizations like NADA who are in strong opposition to consumer-friendly regulations contradicts your own common sense values. Number six, advocating for stronger regulations. A boycott is always a form of advocacy. Consumers can use it to show their support for stronger regulatory measures in the automotive industry, signaling to both NADA and FTC policymakers that there is a public demand for such regulations and oversight. This is your chance to make your voice heard. Number seven, the FTC cars rule just calls for common sense. We presented this fact in this video titled FTC cars rule are coming for car dealers. And we explained in that video that the primary purpose of the FTC's cars rule is to add truth and transparency to car buying or leasing process by making it clear that certain deceptive or unfair practices are illegal. For example, bait and switch tactics, hidden charges, common dealer junk fees, and other conduct that harms consumers and honest dealers. While we are not generally huge advocates of more government regulation in any business, we're making an exception here because it's important to note that these seven points are based on much needed general principles of consumer advocacy supporting a good public cause. If you take the time to read the specific details of the FTC's CARS rule, and then you hear NADA's opposition to it, it will provide you with more context for understanding the situation. We believe that consumers agreeing to support a boycott should be informed about the specific aspects of the FTC's CARS rule and the NADA's reasons for opposing it. Just like anything else we advocate for, your choice to join this boycott should be a well-informed decision. For more information about the FTC CARS rule and why it's needed, visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. You can also search FTC CARS rule and you'll find this site, FTC CARS rule, Combating Auto Retail Scams, A Dealer's Guide. It's just as much a consumer guide as it is a dealer's guide. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy. Thank you much for listening and thanks in advance for doing your part to advocate for truth, justice, and transparency in the car business. Now remember everyone, don't forget, tell all of your family and friends to join us in boycotting NADA by never visiting their website or ever using any of their resources again. Let's kick NADA to the curb. By the way, it's time for somebody to launch a National Auto Buyers Association in contrast to the National Auto Dealers Association, isn't it? Until next time, I've got to go.